cha cha rock a chica ra cha ring a ding a ching a mingo has a doom cha cha ring a ding I know you missed that. I know you're probably wondering why hasn't he been doing that intro song? So here it is. Hey. Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. Oh, no, no, thanks. No, it's all, it's all good. Thank you very much. I got a great audience. Boy, I tell you. So here is update number four. Okay, I got it. Folks, I got to tell you. In the first place, I got to make a major correction because I got severely criticized, and, and rightfully so, for saying that I had like 4,000 comments. What I meant to say was 4,000 views. That these, these updates were getting some really good uh, views and everything. And so I, I just I just wanted to share some stats with you. Uh, the very first update that I did, the part one, they got 8,273 views with 161 comments. Okay? And five thumbs down. All right? Five thumbs down. they got to be those people that just can't stand it. And they got to held it. I got a thumbs down when I said Merry Christmas. You know what? That To that one person, bite me. Okay? Uh, the little short I did got 2,220 views and 36 comments. The update number two, I got 5,279 views, 103 comments, and eight thumbs down. You eight people can bite my ass too, okay? And then for update number three, oh, here's a good one. I got 6,758 views, 118 comments. 13 thumbs down. You 13 people can bite me too, okay? Okay. So there's really not a whole lot to report. I don't have a whole lot of new stuff to tell you except the fact that I got a haircut. And I got that today. It cost me $7 from William the Barber over here and back behind me, Commissario Alto. Best little barber in town. I love this guy. I'm going to put a link in the description to a source for the news that I'm going to tell you about here. Just briefly, I'm going to read it to you. Uh, it says, since January 9th, Ecuador has experienced appalling levels of violence and terrorism at the hands of narco-criminal elements targeting innocent civilians. More than 100 prison guards are being held hostage in multiple locations. The United States condemns these attacks and the criminals responsible. We reaffirm our commitment to a close partnership with Ecuador, including the fight against criminal organizations. We will work with President Noboa to deepen our law enforcement cooperation through U.S. security assistance programs. So the U.S. is going to help us out a little bit. To accelerate that cooperation, senior U.S. officials will visit Ecuador in the coming weeks to explore with Ecuador. Why weeks? How about like within the coming days? Why, why do we have to wait weeks for you guys? You know, get off your ass, get on an airplane, and come here. Okay? Why weeks? What We, we, we don't have weeks, folks. Pisses me off. But anyway, Ecuador and counterparts ways we can work together more effectively to confront the threat posed by transnational criminal organizations. These officials include Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Assistance Secretary Todd Robinson, Bureau of Western Hemisphere Affairs, Deputy Assistant Secretary Kevin Sullivan, Commander of the U.S. Blah, 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 and all these people. They're all these people that will be here in the coming weeks, okay? Yeah, don't rush on our account, folks. All right, so there's really not a lot to report. I mean, it's really quiet, you know? I haven't heard any bombs. I haven't heard... Any shootings? Nothing. I mean, I went to the mall this morning, had breakfast. The normal crowd was there. You know, they are closing flights. American Airlines is closing flights for now into Waikil. That Miami to Waikil flight, they're closing that. I think they had, uh, let's see here. I had something about that. Let me see here what exactly it was. Uh, according to American Airlines website, they have two daily flights 
from Miami to Waikil. I checked yesterday and today, and the flights that lands in GYE, which is Waikil, around 10 p.m. has been canceled both, way, both days. But the one that lands at around 1.45 p.m. is not canceled. So they're not canceling all flights, okay? They're just canceling some. So I, I know that there's still a lot of concern, and I still caution everybody that if you're on your way down here, just plan to be careful, okay? I'm, I'm at this point, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, I'm, I'm going to say, don't cancel your plans. If you're on your way, just, you know, plan on sticking close to home till you get your final destination, uh, maybe whether it's Monta or Cuenca. If you're going to Cuenca, uh, I would caution you to stick around and tune into the news, tune into the Facebook pages, follow the links in my description, and, you know, use common sense. Just use common sense. Don't take this, oh, it won't happen to us attitude. Okay, because then it, it will happen to you. All right. So if you're going to Waikil, I feel sorry for I don't think you should be going to Waikil, but that's just my opinion. I, you know, my opinion and $20 won't get you a cup of coffee. So, but, you know, just use common sense. Okay, it's simple as that. Use common sense. I, and until something really, really bad happens, I would say it's kind of like business as usual. The curfew is still on from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Hallelujah, because that just means it's going to be quiet. We get to sleep a full night of sleep here in Monta, anyway. So I want to, I want to, I want to share some comments with you. Okay, uh, here's I'm not going to give any names. Okay, I'm just going to protecting everybody's anonymity. And I'm going to share some comments because I just feel like, I mean, I, I have thousands of comments and I've, I'm spending a lot of time reading them. And yeah, folks, I read every single comment. There's There's been a few comments that I've had to remove just because they're downright stupid. Okay? And I don't allow stupid on this channel. Okay? I had one person, one asshat, tell me that if I can't pronounce the, the name of cities correctly, and he specifically said, talked about Monta. He says... I should call it Manta. Okay, well, I tell you what, ass hat. You tell my girlfriend to call it Manta, and I'll call it Manta, all right? Until then, you can shut the hell up, and I'm going to call it whatever the fuck I want to call it, okay? Manta. So that guy is no longer a follower on this channel. Another thing, you're don't tell me how to talk. I'm 72 years old, and I don't need anybody telling me how to talk, Okay? And I say that with peace and love, too, by the way. Comment. My parents had some, had a home invasion done in our family farm. My father was beaten and my mother is ill, still ill. They stole money. Anyway, my parents had a home invasions done in our family farm. My father was beaten and my mother is ill. They stole money, family jewels, and my father's old 1992 lose truck and they made a call to get their boss to get the okay to kill them thank god they said no my parents are seniors and usa citizens and this happens about two years ago and now crime is even worse than before period that's the longest damn sentence i've ever read in my life i believe but anyway the president should do just like president burkell has done in el salvador clean house with a heavy hand Period. You shouldn't have nothing to fear if you're a law-abiding citizen, comma. I'm 100% sure he has the people's support in this, in this make Ecuador safe again, President Noboa. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Right on, brother. Another comment. That's when, that's what when you have corrupt politicians and local police. <sighs> that's what happens when you have open borders and don't background check anyone. The criminals have more rights than victims. You can thank all of that to the ex-president Correa and his political party since 2007. He ruined Ecuador, but he did build good highways. It's about time someone stepped up and cleans up like El Salvador did. In the USA, the mass shootings in public places are unique to the USA. Anybody can be a victim. The stats on Chicago and 
Other urban places are primarily gang on gang in the hood. So the everyday person is not likely at risk. In South America, I lived in Colombia. In the safest areas, there are kidnappings and murders all the time. In the USA, it's almost always in a bad area, gang on gang. And in the USA, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In the, the well, kidnapping and murders, I'm saying. In the USA, it's almost always in a bad area, gang on gang. And in the USA, the police are very helpful and 911 works great. The police in South America are not helpful at all. I love South America, Colombia, and Ecuador, but in South America, everything is okay until it's not. Okay? I, I know what you mean about the police. I, I you know, I, I have mixed emotions about the police here because, number one, I can't communicate with them because I don't speak enough Spanish and, you know, I don't really have any reason to call them other than the fact that some kids are having a drunken party at three o'clock in the morning down here and, and, and doing karaoke, you know. That was the only time in my life I ever wanted to call the police and I didn't bother because I knew I'd just be talking into the wind. Even if I spoke their language, I don't think they would come. The, the only time you see police around here, I see them come by here every night and they do their little whoop whoop thing with their sirens. So I guess to let everybody know they're here and they sit in front of Lenovia down here and eat a burger. And then they whoop, whoop their way out, back out. And then you don't see them enough for another two or three hours when they come back and whoop, whoop, do it again. The, the, ironically, the, you know, when the, the asshole that lives behind the hotel back here was blowing up firecrackers the size of dynamite out here at all hours of the night, the cops are nowhere to be found. Because after all, fireworks are supposed to be illegal here. But let me tell you something, folks. If you're coming to Manta, you, you know, expect to hear fireworks on a regular basis, okay? It's all part of that noise equation, okay? So, but you know, yeah, you're, I mean, there's, there, there is a problem with police and police corruption in this country. And, and you know, all I can say is, let's just give Noboa a chance, okay? And let's see what happens. We don't, we never know. This guy may do a fantastic, he may do just like the president in El Salvador did. And he might clean this mess up. All right. So for now, I'm safe. Still is safe. Everybody I know is safe. There, I, there are people on the beach, not very many. I think I can actually count the number of people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I can see 14, 15, 16 people on the beach with my perfect vision that I can see down there. Okay. It's a beautiful day here. Sun shining. It's not too windy. The clouds are, I mean, the, the, the waves, we've had some giant waves here the last two or three days, but anyway, that's my update. That's update number four. Don't be, don't get too discouraged. Okay. Please don't get too discouraged on what I say. You know, if you're on your way, come on. Next week, next Tuesday, the 16th, I'm leaving here and going to the United States. I'm going to Phoenix. I bought a one-way ticket. I'm going to go there. I'm going to come back when I, by God, feel like it. I don't have any plans made yet on when I'm going to return. Probably going to stay there for two or three weeks, maybe four or five. I'm hoping that I get a chance to rent a motorcycle and go do some riding in Arizona and just going to enjoy some time off and some peace and quiet. Okay? I'll see you folks in the next one. Ciao, ciao.